Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I've been Okay. Definitely spent too much time on that LP. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero. Alright, this will be the summer LP. And we're gonna be playing on normal. A Midwestern town. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockford Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Yes, this is the pre. Yes, this is the prequel. July twenty third, nineteen ninety eight. Raccoon Forest, two thousand. What? Two. Oh, mm -hmm. I think that was twenty. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. I wonder how. Yeah, but this is a prequel to the original Resident Evil. It takes place right before. It takes place right before the mansion incident, with Bravo team going missing and all that. And you actually get to play as Rebecca Chambers, who I never actually showed in my remake LP. <laughs> yeah, it's very loud. And that's the Ecliptic Express. And that right there is our main protagonist, uh, antagonist. We won't learn the name of until way later. Like after... Like the first part of the game. Two hours later, above Raccoon Forest. It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. And there's Rebecca. We never stood a chance. Special, and that's Bra that's Bravo team going down there. Rebecca, that's Kevin. He's the guy that died Check in the helicopter. The position and investigate the surrounding area. And there's Enrico, you know, died in the catacombs. Captain, look! There's a truck. Forrest and uh, Richard and Kenneth and uh, Edward are also here. Edward we never saw in a remake, so... Captain! Hmm? What happened? Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cullen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. Court-martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs. And that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone. Let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. Yeah, but they're actually supposed to be investi investigating the strange, you know, murders that were going on. That's the reason why they were sent out to Raccoon Forest in the first place. And then they went missing, and then, uh, then, uh, Alpha Team was sent in, you know, and then Joseph died. Chris or Jill went missing. And, you know, Wester betrayed us. A train? The Ecliptic Express. 
which I will refer to as the Midnight Meat Train, because that was like the worst movie ever. <laughs> was it even a movie? I don't know. But, uh, we're about to take control here. The door to safety has been shut. This is no turn. There is no turning back. I always love these little just these little subtitles that they give you. All right, door up there is locked. Go through this one. Just these little subtitles like enter the survival horror. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The Yes, this guy's dead, and he's got a radio. I smell zombie. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, now you're gonna like kill these. Yeah, you get a cutscene, but don't worry about uh, conserving your handgun bullets. What little ones you have at the start, you have 30 at the start. Don't worry about that, uh, because there's because we'll be getting like another 30 something bullets later. But trust me, just clearing out that path right there is probably one of the best things you can do. All right, go in this room. There should be some more handgun bullets in a note that I want to read. That'll tell us about the boss of this this train. Some handgun bullets and, of course, a dead body. Some handgun ammo. This poor guy must have been attacked in his sleep. His body's covered in slime. Yeah, the leeches probably got at him. And passenger's diary. July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Argland Mountain Laboratory. We're moving in two groups with us, and the initial group assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiments. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test products of BOW type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with type Y139. There's still so much we don't know about the response to the crustacean T-virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the, spe the species and nurturing conditions, only minute, only minute, m minute doses of T bring about remarkable changes in solidity and size multiplication of internal toxins and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon can be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one, problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. This lab we are going to going to where they pursue where they're pursuing the same research. It would be certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. July 19th. The day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? It, it? it is. If it is. No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation make sure it goes smoothly. <clears throat> Took the passenger's diary. 